Hello everyone, it's Gary Gibbons, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the filter envelope to create risers and drops. For this tutorial, I'm going to use short and long grains. Since I have a default instance loaded, we're going to use one stream of grain. You can tell this by looking at the duration parameter here. The value is set to 1, so we're set up to use short grains. Now I'm going to change the number of grains to 2. Next, let's choose what part of the sample those two grains scan. I'm going to change the position value to 50%. That means the position start time will play in the middle of the sample here. OK, now I'm going to spread those two grains by going to the position spread parameter and I'm going to type in a value of 25%. Now I'm going to play C3. OK, let's change the default sample by clicking the Select Sample icon here. I'm going to have a look inside the Patch Up 2 sample folder, and here is the folder called 03 Multi Waves. I'm going to select High Multi Saw 1. OK, as we can see at the Waveform Display window, the sample is loaded. OK, let's play C3 again. All right, now let's move down to the Modulation Matrix Column 1. Under Source, let's add Filter Envelope. Next, let's go to the Modulation Destination and select Pitch. All right. Above Destination is the Modulation Depth. I'm going to change the value to 12 so we can raise the pitch by one octave. OK, all set. So now let's play C3 again. Now the pitch of C3 has risen by one octave. And when the note is released, the pitch drops. So next, I want to go to the filter envelope, which is located here, and change the attack, decay, sustain, and release settings. The first setting I'm going to change is here at the attack time, where we can assign the rate or speed that the pitch rises. So I'm going to change the value to 5,000 milliseconds. And now let's play C3 again. The pitch is now going up. Next, I'm going to change the decay time to zero. And I'm going to leave the sustain level to a value of 100%. Next, I'm going to go to the release time and change it from 1,000 milliseconds to 30,000 milliseconds. OK, let's play C3 again. All right, now the pitch of the note takes 5,000 milliseconds to hit its maximum value and sustains at the higher pitch. But when C3 is released, the pitch falls back down to its original setting. I want it to respond in a different way. So I'm going to go over here to the amplifier envelope and change the settings as well. First, I'm going to change the amplifier attack time to the same setting that we used for the filter attack time. I'm going to change the value to 5,000 milliseconds. So with this setting, the note that is played fades in at the same rate or speed as the pitch increases over at the filter envelope. Next, I'm going to change the sustain level to zero. By doing this, when the note arrives at its maximum peak, the volume of the note will decrease, making it sound like the note stops playing. I'm going to go to the release time and change the value to 200 milliseconds so we can have a short release time. OK, well, that's the basic setup to make a riser when using the filter envelope. Now, let's say we want to speed up the rate that the note rises. All we have to do is go over here to the filter envelope attack time 
and change the value to a smaller number. How about we change the value to 500 milliseconds? And I'll move over here to the amplifier attack time and insert the same value. So both attack time settings are 500 milliseconds. I'm going to change the values back to 5,000 milliseconds. And I'm going to show you how to create a drop and short grains. Since we have column one and the modulation matrix set up, it is very simple to create a drop. I'm going to change the depth value from 12 to a negative amount. If I want the pitch of the note to drop one octave, I can change the value to minus 12. Okay, set. Let's say I want to have the note drop two octaves. All I have to do is change the value to minus 24. I'm going to change it back to minus 12, then beautify our sound. Let's go to the show layer A FX page and turn the delay on. Okay, I'm going to go to the select preset icon and choose the preset slow fade away. Next, I'm going to change the mix value to 12.5 and the feedback to a value of 12. Okay, let's have a listen. Now let's turn on the reverb and change the level to minus four dB. Okay, let's play again. I'm going to go back to the show layer A synth page and change the pitch depth back to 12. Okay, let's play again. Okay, so since the pitch of C3 goes up an octave, let's change the pitch to an octave lower by going to the pitch section and changing the octave value from zero to minus one. Okay, great. Now let's go over here to LFO1 and add some movement to our sound. If I drag the drag icon to the pan parameter here, everything will be ready to go in column two of the matrix. Okay, let's play again. Now we can hear the sound pan from side to side. I'm gonna go back over to the LFO and change the sync mode to tempo and I'll change the rate value to eighth notes. Okay, I'm gonna play again. All right, that sounds pretty cool, but let's say we don't wanna have that panning motion the whole time we play our chord. So I'm going to go over to column two in the matrix and under modifier, I'm going to add aftertouch. So now when I play again, without activating the aftertouch, we hear no panning. And now when I activate the aftertouch, we can hear panning. Now let's change our duration value to 250 so we can create risers or drops by using long grains. Now let's head on over to the number of grains parameter and change the value from two to four. Next, at the spread parameter, I'm going to spread out those four grains a bit more by changing the value from 25% to 50%. And to make the playback sound less robotic, I'm going to change the random position value from 0% to 12%. Okay, let's play another chord.
Now let's change the attack time in the filter envelope to a slower value. I'm going to change it to 7,500 milliseconds as well as over at the amplifier envelope. Let's go back to column one in the matrix and change the depth value from 12 to 24 to increase the pitch by two octaves. Okay, that sounds good. And how about minus 24? Okay, I'm going to go back over here to the pitch section and under octave, I'm going to change the setting back to zero. Okay, great. So that's how you can use the filter envelope to create risers and drops when using short and long grains. Cheers.